What's up, YouTube? What's good? What's good? What's happening? It's time for life. So now we're going to talk about Shanda and Tyrese. The man in the blue suit, he waited 50 minutes outside of her prison. Been sitting outside front part of the prison for 40, 50 minutes. And she was not coming. So here's the thing. Then she phones him up and she's like, yeah, they dropped us off somewhere else. Now she has to get to a bus station, catch a bus to some place in Sacramento or whatever to go to a halfway house, which is a rehabilitation kind of center for former prisoners, right? This is very important, especially soon after release, they set up these things so that, you know, people go on the right track. So this is very important. So anyway, he goes over there and he's got a suitcase. When I tell you, a suitcase full of brass and she's so happy because she said in prison they only give like brown brass and they're like not very good brass, obviously. So she's got that, she's got panties and wow, he's got things with labels on them and in a bag and everything. It's all new, it's all fresh, it's in a suitcase. So she goes to the, have you subscribed? Okay restroom of this bus station and she goes to change when she comes out she looks like a biker but it kind of suits her she's looking kind of cute she comes looking out by the way fresh with like cornrows on one side and like curled hair and she looks wow like she really she really did her hair for him and she's rather surprised to see Tyrese in a blue suit She's rather confused to see Tyrese in a blue suit because she's like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. I don't know. I was not expecting her to look all done up with the curls and with all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, and she says, yeah, the support gets her through. Um, yeah, it's it's much more easier to get through your prison sentence. if You have somebody on the outside able to support you. And it's even easier whenever you have more than one person out there supporting you. What? This is about to be some murky territory. Me and Tyrese, I do see a future together. Now, I thought they were already at the bus stop that she was supposed to be at to go to the halfway house, but no, they had to drive on the freeway, highway, whatever you want to call it, motorway. And she's so excited because she hasn't seen one of those in a while. And then she tells Tyrese that he's in way overdressed, babe. With his blue suit and she's just wearing jeans. I don't know why she's wearing jeans and he's in the suit. But anyway, she's going to halfway house. She might as well dress casually. And he's like, I was gonna do the tan tan tan, but she's hungry. They start talking and she's like, in the halfway house, there's more, you know, drugs and stuff like that there than even in the jail. You know, and she's kind of scared about that. I don't even think I can count on one hand how many different detention facilities I've been in. And it's all due to drugs. Yeah, because since she was 16 or something she's been in trouble with like drugs and stuff like that her mom drank herself to you know drinking was the demise of her mom also shanda drops another bomb which is while i was in prison there was like five or six other guys that i was talking to okay there's probably about eight or nine they're still friends but you know hmm okay wonder if that's gonna stick around for a while but tyrese does not even know that she's talking to these guys if you're not already part of the family make sure you hit bumps up as well to the subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think like because you obviously like this video and whilst you're at it hit the notification bell i'll see you in the next one which will be very soon make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right god bless